the number of coronavirus cases continues to rise. Experts say global job losses as a result of the crisis would far exceed the 25 million estimated just days ago. Now, the number of COVID-19 cases in the U.S. has surpassed that of China. The jobless claims surged to record levels and perhaps a sign of things to come. 3.3 million Americans filed claims for unemployment last week as large parts of the U.S. economy continued to remain shut. The surge in weekly applications was a stunning reminder of the damage of the viral outbreak that is inflicting on the economy. Now, filings for unemployment aid generally reflect the pace of layoffs. Well, this number of new claims for unemployment benefits is truly unprecedented, and it represents the unprecedented nature of what we're going through right now. During the financial crisis and Great Recession, the highest or uh, maximum number of new claims for unemployment benefits we saw was uh, approaching, let's say, the 700,000 mark. So we've done uh, several times over uh, that record number. Businesses have been shut as people's movement remains restricted. The layoffs are sure to accelerate as the U.S. economy slides into a recession. Most of the employers may resort to cutting jobs to save money. Now, some economists say that the unemployment rate in the U.S. could reach 13 percent by May. Now, nearly a third of U.S. workers could lose their jobs in the short term, as compared to the highest jobless rate during the Great Recession, when it was at 10 percent. I mean, it's tough. I have two kids in school and uh, they're in high school and now school is done for the rest of the year. And, uh, you know, as much as they're laughing and saying, hey, great, you know, deep down inside, they're, they're really saying I'm listening to them in the background and saying they're going to miss their friends. And, you know, they wish they could have gone in and had some closure. Uh, so that's kind of tough. And uh, I have another son who's working and he's in the same predicament. Um, pretty much was told we're closing. He just filed for unemployment. And uh, it's, it's tough, you know, everybody's concerned about what the future is going to bring. I am ranging all around all kinds of emotions. I haven't been out of work since my childhood paper route, <laughs> unless you count college, which in itself was a job and I actually had a work on campus job. Um, it feels very bizarre. Um, this is what I usually wear when I teach ballroom dancing. Uh, it feels so bizarre to not put on a tie for, I've been teaching for all the 2000 years and a little bit of the 1990 years. So um, decades of putting on a tie every day and I'm not. In Germany, researchers say that unemployment could top 3 million if the coronavirus crisis deepens. It is also expected that Germany's economy will shrink by 2% this year. Countries across the world are struggling to contain the pandemic, which has brought economic activity to a sudden halt. In India, where a 21-day nationwide lockdown has been announced, industry groups have warned that job losses could run into tens of millions. It is estimated that 38 million jobs could be lost in the tourism and hospitality sectors alone. In a bid to reduce financial losses, many companies have given employees the option to work from home. Experts believe that the outbreak of coronavirus may uh, has the potential to make the concept of work from home a more common practice, thereby shifting the workplace dynamics.